We are in front of Taco Mac. Getting in and navigating is all on the far app. The restrooms have a beacon located over the doorway. It even goes so far as to describe which bathroom is which once you get to the beacon. The menu as well is on the far app. Visually impaired people come in quite frequently. They are capable, you know, that uh, just a little bit of assistance that they ask for it, otherwise treat them just like everybody else. The more familiar they are with the with the establishment or where it is, that the more they will frequent. And the FAR system has helped a lot, helping people to better themselves and just be able to get around and, and, and you know, not be isolated. And the second thing is, it's great for my sales. Get somebody to come in. Uh, buying people, you know, it's like iPhone, seriously. How do you find things on it? Well, you know, voiceover and of course on the Android phones with TalkBack, um, everything that's on the screen is actually vocalized aud audibly um, to you. So that's why smartphones, right, Lily, have become a godsend to the sure. visually impaired, almost a necessity, really. Hey Google or hey Siri, and uh, I'm sure that's helped a lot. You know, people don't know what to do. Uh, I said, Ask what you need. Ask where you want things. Ask how that we can better serve you. Um, and because uh, we'll all learn. Where would you like me to place these drinks? Uh? Um, if you could put them in our hands, okay. that, that way we we know exactly where they are. Alrighty. Because you know, a lot of times we'll swipe and knock something over, and that's just embarrassing. Alright, and where would you like me to place the off flats? That will be right in front of me, please. You like me to put it in front of you? Yes. Thank you. And sometimes it's helpful if you could kind of um, explain, like say the lemon pepper, are they at like 10 o'clock? Are they at two o'clock? Okay. Six o'clock? Lemon pepper is at six o'clock. Okay. The celery and the carrots are at three o'clock. <laughs> That's part of the public awareness movement where if we as, as the blind and visually impaired community are a little more proactive in, in dispelling misconceptions. What percentage of our population is totally blind? It's, it's probably less than 5% of the population that are totally blind. Right. But when you add in the people that are visually impaired, then it shoots up probably closer to 15, maybe almost 20%. And when you think about the senior community that's, that's growing exponentially with the baby boomers, holy moly, with macular degeneration, with glaucoma and diabetes, it's going to get steadily higher and higher as their population ages. When the society doesn't pay attention to that, there's going to be a lot of people, and I say this as a pun, in the dark. Yes, in the dark. So what else can we do to make our establishment more inviting to, to the blind? If we could get you folks to promote the fact that you are blind accessible, you get somebody to pull out a magnifying glass, a senior right. is pulling, you know, and they're just trying as hard as they can to read the menu. And you know, if your servers knew that and said, did you know that there's this Far Vision app that you could utilize and you could actually listen to our menu. We have a, a, you know, a feature that we provide that uh, could actually help you. And I think that would be huge. One of the great features on our app is called the Nearby, and which means that um, you can preview any, any business or far accessible restaurant within a 100 mile radius anywhere you are. So if you're at home, and let's say I said, I'm going to Taco Mac this afternoon. I can actually pull up your menu and look at what I want, and it says how much it costs before I even get here. It's called Far Vision, right. F-A-R Vision. It's free, because that was one of the tenants when I helped form the company, was I wanted to make sure that the blind and visually impaired community didn't incur any costs. Are proactive in providing accessibility that it really, really helps us to get out but I think it encourages everyone to do better, right? To, to be more proactive in societies. And I, and I have noticed that the visually impaired people that I have, have interacted with, for the most part, they are very jovial and very uh, upbeat, even about their, their situation. And, and they, a lot of times they make light of it and, you know, and uh, they are very punny. Well, and what I love is you guys are a family-oriented, you know, restaurant 
Um, you can come in here and my my kid, he loves eating the, the slow burn wings. Well, I, I don't eat the slow burn wings. <laughs> Too hot for me. I did it once and never yeah. again. Just an awesome place to, to come hang out. I would say we're an all occasion sports bar. If you want to just come with your friends, uh, have some good drinks, have some good food in a lively environment, we're the place for you. If you want to come watch a big game, we definitely are the place. We have 63 TVs in this location. Wow. So it's a great place to hang out. We've got great wings, we've got great food, sports, hunter dress. This is becoming a commercial for Taco Mac. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, again, it's uh, it's education and awareness. Yes, that's it. Great. Well, it's been my pleasure to spend time with you, Lily. It's been great to meet you. Anything I could ever do for you, let me know. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tom. All right. It was fantastic. Good job. I had chicken nachos and the amazing chicken wings here. I hope this restaurant is accessible to the blind and visually impaired. It sure is. Fire station.